I'm telling you, do not buy the new if you can. Try to go to the thrift store first. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Peace and shiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day. What is up? It's actually a very sunny day. It is 90 degrees right now, but I'm very excited about today's video because I am calling it like come thrift with me for things on my like thrift wish list. And I got the idea from Sunday's video when I was talking about just different trends and different things that I am specifically like hoping to thrift at some point. And I realized there are a lot of things that that are kind of on my wish list every time I go thrifting and so I figured I would do a dedicated video trying to find those things because usually when I go thrifting I try not to have like a specific plan or a specific thing or things that I'm looking for because if I end up not finding those things and I don't thrift anything I feel like the thrift trip was like a fail mostly like the ones that I film because I'm like oh people want to see a haul and blah 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 with today's video I may not find anything that I'm looking for and I may then and not buy anything. I have about 14 different things that I really, really want to find and I want to stick to these 14 things, which I'm going to quickly just say them. I feel like this intro is going to be really long, but like my intros are always really long because I'm like, oh, I have to give context to what this video is going to be about or like nobody will understand and all of that. So the first thing is a matching suit set, whether it's a pantsuit set or a skirt suit set. And I'm kind of looking for either like a pastel or a plaid pattern. Number two is a puffy, lacy white or black button up. If you follow me on my Pinterest, then this totally makes sense. And honestly, everything on this list will definitely make sense if you follow me on there. Number three is a suit vest. I've definitely been having my eye out for like a plain black suit vest. I think it just would be a nice kind of closet staple. A white coat, like pea coat style. I don't think I'll be able to find it, but I just wanted to put that out into the universe. Number five, a red spaghetti strap dress. I feel like, again, those are kind of like the closet staple things. Number seven black suit trousers. Now, what did I remember? I remember my measuring tape. Fingers crossed with my measuring tape that I will be able to find just like plain black trousers. Number eight is a plaid dress just kind of like a staple. Nine is a brown cardigan. I'm not really looking for sweaters to be honest. Like I just haven't been like driving with them and I like the ones that I own. So I'm not too like sweater crazy right now, but I would like to find maybe like a brown chunky cardigan. Number 10 is a midi skirt. I don't really have anything specific for this, but it's like, I'll know when I see it. 11 is a cottage core style dress. This is kind of open. It's kind of generic, kind of giving myself leeway to maybe have fun with this one. Number 12 is a collar type of black dress. So like a black dress with a collar. 13 is a pink oversized cardigan. And number 14 is a dark brown blazer. I don't really own a lot of like plain blazers to be honest. And I feel like a dark brown one, again, is kind of like a closet staple. So that's the plan. Intro's over. Thanks for sticking through it. And let's go thrifting. Guys, it's literally like empty in here. I haven't seen a thrift store this empty and like I don't even know how long. Also, I'm using my smaller camera, so sorry about the quality. It's yeah, it's definitely not good. I found like a bunch of turtlenecks and sweaters that I really like, but I'm not gonna get because it's not on my thrift wish list, but I just have to show you. Like this color and material is so soft. It's such a beautiful, beautiful turtleneck. Obviously this yellow one. I already have enough yellow like sweaters and turtlenecks, but oh, it is so beautiful. Even this blue one, like look at how beautiful that color is. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, this is literally like what is on my interest. I mean, could this be classified? as a cottage core dress. I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'm just going to hold on to it. This is a really beautiful like button up. I just really like the button detail. This is kind of that lacy detail I was talking about. I'll hold on to it. Okay, I did already kind of forget what was on my list, so. Okay, let's go. Ooh, 
let's go to skirts because nobody's in that section right now. So like I said, I couldn't really say exactly what type of skirt I was looking for, but spoiler alert, I did not find it. And I couldn't even like show you inspiration photos of the specific skirt. I'm looking for because truly I don't I don't know what it is or what I want but I just remember when I was creating the wish list I was like I want a specific midi skirt but I don't know what that is so because that didn't work out I ended up heading into the pants obviously looking for some high-waisted black trousers I do feel like especially the trousers at the thrift store most of them were just low waisted especially the ones that then were black which again was what i was looking for they were either low waisted or too short for my legs or they were both so definitely didn't have the greatest luck with that i feel like this style trouser is like perfect i just want it in black i do like kind of the striped detail on trousers i think it's quite like smart looking just not exactly what I'm looking for, at least right now. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the suit sets because maybe I'll find black trousers there. Um, okay, they actually moved everything in my favors. They like redid the store, so I have no idea where anything is. So, may take me an extra minute. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a really, really cute coat. Yeah, these are so cute. Such a beautiful fall little coat, and then this one as well like look at how nice that is so i made my way to the jackets and i was hoping to find the two-piece set stuff but i only really found two and they were just mixed into like random places so i guess at least my thrift store took away that section of like two pieces but going through the jackets there wasn't really anything that necessarily caught my eye although that green is pretty nice and then this leather coat i did really like the color i ended up leaving it but it was really cute i just found the most beautiful coat ever i have absolutely no reason to own it so i'm not going to get it but so pretty i feel like if it was in like a cream or white i actually would be tempted i still don't think i would get it but oh this is cute get again not on our trip with her so we're not gonna get it but you know i guess i'll show you we can, we can still appreciate it okay it is literally what i was talking about but it isn't a size two and so I, it may be too small let's just try it on like it is beautiful but it's just too small like even on the arms i can just tell i wouldn't wear it because or i wouldn't like go out of my way to wear it because it's not that comfy so sadly a no not part of my first wish list but just a beautiful item i wanted to show that faux fur style coat i was talking about in sunday's video i'm telling you do not buy them new if you can try to go to the thrift store first for a faux fur or a real fur coat because they're like swimming in it at least the one by me okay this is beautiful i love it so much i know i'm not going to wear it so i'm not going to buy it but beautiful i just love a long blazer it's just so classy but a beautiful beautiful piece i love that it's kind of like a, a silk material just like built into it look at how cute that is i think this is honestly one of my favorite thrift coats like in the past year i think it's because number one it's not this thing but also number two like i am finding a lot of stuff yet not i don't know maybe it's like because i have like a plan and a goal of what i'm looking for even though i'm not finding it necessarily i still feel like I also found this dress, which is kind of like that plaid style dress. Sorry. Well, after that awkward encounter, I decided to not talk to my camera uh, for uh, most of the footage next. Uh, I found this dress velvet look oh my god it's so beautiful i have no reason to buy it so i did not buy it but it was gorgeous then this like halter denim jumpsuit thing i thought it was really cool definitely not my style but i just wanted to show it because i i thought it was pretty cool and then i found this blazer like this pastel blazer that little button brings me so much joy it's so beautiful again it doesn't really go with what i was looking for so i ended up leaving it and then this dress was so close to the dress i was talking about 
with a collar, but oh wait it was oh my gosh it was a top duh that's why i didn't buy it it was a top if it was a dress honestly i probably would have bought it but yeah then on to cardigan and cardigan cardigans and sweaters and like i said like i wasn't too like focused on this one it was kind of like eh, if i find like a brown one or a pink one possibly i did get a little bit sidetracked by the sweaters like there was this blue one like look at how gorgeous that is i didn't really like the fit so i didn't buy it but it also again was not on my thrift wish list, but I can still enjoy the pretty sweater pieces. It's interesting. I feel like I only get into sweaters when it's actually like consistently cold where I live. And like I said, it's literally 90 degrees. So I just like wasn't in the mindset to be getting any sweaters. And I think in turn any cardigans, cause I didn't really find any that I was feeling, especially because I'm so particular with my sweaters. They cannot be itchy and they cannot shed. And surprisingly, that's kind of hard to find. Look at how absolutely adorable this is. I have to put in my cart, just for right now. We'll see. Oh, come on, look at how cute that is. Look at how cute that is. There's a lot of spring button ups that I'm loving. I'm not gonna buy, but this is definitely like my spring mood for 2022. And then this color is really pretty. And then this one is really, really pretty. I then saw this velvet dress that had bows on the straps. Look at how gorgeous it is. If the dressing rooms, if there were dressing rooms, I would have tried it on and then probably would have bought it. And then this skirt, I'm not in love with the color, but it was a corduroy material. And I just thought it was really interesting. It was like a maxi corduroy skirt. I just liked it i didn't buy it because it wasn't it wasn't it um but then for the pieces i put in my car i first put this button up yes it's spring i'll explain why i do end up purchasing it and then i have the cat button up which i was like really trying to think about if i was going to get it or not because it is so cute but realistically number one i have so many cat like pieces and i mean there's never too many cat t-shirts and sweatshirts and that kind of thing but like specifically this one i just knew i wouldn't get as much wear as it like deserves but literally gorgeous loved it we'll think about it for the rest of my life i then found this like plaid style dress i don't think it would have been my size so i ended up leaving it but i really really like the pattern of it and i wish there was like a two-piece set in this pattern i'm sure i could make one like if i bought this and made it into that but not feeling crafty right now so i ended up not getting it and then this dress it i think could go for like the cottage core like wishless item uh i was thinking about it was really pretty and i did in fact purchase it okay so i've been here for like an hour and a half and like i said like i'm actually having a really good time i've gone through the store like multiple times i didn't really find maybe one thing out of my 14 things did i find on my list which I feel like finding everything that you're wanting at one thrift store, like usually it's at multiple thrift stores, especially depending on where the thrift store is located, like and what you're looking for. The thrift store I'm at isn't like my favorite thrift store, so like I wasn't really expecting that much. Anyway, I'm just absolutely rambling in the little kid section. So I'm gonna check out and then do the haul. Alrighty, so I am back home. I've washed everything. It is the next day and I just want to say even though I only picked up two things, which even just picking up two things specifically from this video, like I didn't, I didn't even think I was going to pick up one thing. Uh, I still like had a lot of fun like searching and one thing that I like have done in the past and kind of like a habit I am trying to change is when I'm looking for a specific item, whether it's a certain style, a certain color, just like a a specific thing I'm trying to thrift. A lot of times if I don't find it, I end up picking up things that are similar to it, but aren't it. Even though it is similar, I still want in my heart that actual specific thing. And so if I do end up actually finding the thing I was looking for at the thrift store, I'm then going to buy it. And now I have this other thing that's similar that I actually didn't really love because I wanted that specific thing and then I end up not even wearing that. 
I don't know if that made sense. With this video, I really was like, no, I don't want something similar. I want exactly what I am looking for. And even though I did find similar things, I just knew in my heart that I would continue to search for the specific thing. So it just made sense to wait it out. And that is just one thing with thrifting and buying secondhand is it's going to just take a little bit longer to find what you're looking for. I mean, it can take six months, but once you actually end up finding that thing that you have put in all this work that you really, really love, you end up appreciating it a lot more. So I kind of wanted to keep that in my mind when I was at the thrift store and everything I kind of like had on my thrift wish list, I'm going to continue to look for. Maybe like at some point I will have all of them or maybe I just end up finding one of them in the next six months, who knows? But gosh darn, tangent is over. Let's get into the actual pieces, which the first one I ended up thrifting was $10.99. And I did get a 20% off discount. So I don't know how much it is 20% off, but I got this dress, which I kind of showed it obviously in the thrift with me portion. And I was really on the edge. I did put like cottagecore dress and I kind of let that open. And I feel like this could be that. I think this is kind of like cottage core, maybe a little bit of like royal core, if you will. I actually did try this on on top of the dress I was wearing and I was able to figure out if the like boob indents were actually gonna fit because that's something that I've talked about like multiple times when tops and dresses have these like boob inserts. It's kind of like, okay, that's where my boobs should go, but like sometimes they don't and everyone's boobs are different shapes and different sizes. So I was a little bit weary about that. So I did want to try it on in the like aisles on top of my dress and it fit perfectly. The only thing is this bottom part. I mean, I like it just as a dress and I think I would either have to wear like nude bike shorts or white tights under it, which I could do, but I was also thinking of mainly just wearing this as a top. I kind of just like this part, the bottom part, again, it's fun. Like there's nothing wrong with it, but I think I just would prefer to wear it as a top. So I may for the next month, like, wear this as a top by like tucking it into jeans and then kind of see if I would prefer to then just like cut the bottom part off. I do not know. And then this next one was $6.99. It's originally from the company Hot Cotton and it doesn't have to do with any of the things I had talked about in my wish list. But when I went to Palm Springs during the summertime, my friend Leah had this like lime, like pastel neon green button up and I just absolutely fell in love with it. And I kind of like made a little mental note that if I ever find anything like thrifting that's similar to that, that I definitely want to purchase it. So that was kind of like one of my thrift wish lists from summertime. And so I either like dreamt about this top that Leah wore because when we went to Palm Springs, she never wore a top like this. She wore green pants. So maybe I like mixed the two. So basically the entire story I just said doesn't exist, um, but I still like the item. And so when I saw it at the thrift store, I was like, okay, I know it doesn't go with this thrift wish list, but it was part of my thrift wish list. And I finally, after like, I think we went, when did we go? Like July or June? So like, it's been a couple of months of me searching for it. It literally is perfect. I love it so much. Not really a winter fall type of item. I think I will get the most wear out of it during the springtime and I just love it. And it is a linen, so it's super breathable. And I just feel like this is going to be literally my go-to when springtime hits. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what's on your thrift wish list. I realized the wish list I had is definitely mainly like fall winter time. So maybe going forward with each season, maybe I'll do like a thrift with me for the wish list of those seasonal items I'm looking for. And if you like thrifting and secondhand fashion, make sure to subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I will see you guys on Sunday with brand new sunny Sunday video. I hope you have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!